Hey everyone, Daniel here from Twin Bytes with another quick tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to find the computer specs on your computer. One of the reasons you might want that is if you're looking to purchase a new computer, whether you're looking to yourself or your technician's asking you for it to troubleshoot your computer or to help you purchase a new one, you can get the most important information from your computer very easily and I'm going to show you two different ways at least of doing it here. So looking at my computer, we'll go into the start button under settings and system, scroll down to the very bottom and you got about. And here's where we're gonna find a bunch of information. The important thing is looking at the processor. We've got a Intel i7 in this case. It shows the uh, model number, which is like um, referencing the generation. Now the Intel i series they had i3, i5, and i7 that's been around for almost a decade. So seeing that this number starts with 8000, for me that means that it's an 8th generation i7 processor. And here we've got the clock speed, which is a 2.2 gigahertz. So something close to 3 I find is really good but uh, it, there's so many different ways of measuring this. It's got cores, how many cores, and um, I'm, I'm not gonna get into all the details on processor specifications in this video because that goes a little bit beyond the scope of this video. But let me know in the comments below if you wanna have a greater detailed explanation of each component in the computer and then maybe I can make a different video about each individual component. But for the purpose of this, we just want to see that it's an i7 and it's a 2.2 clock speed. So you'd want to get at least another i7 because you don't want to go slower than that because it has so many things based on that. Just It's a big jump from an i5 to an i7. And the 2.2 clock speed, that's how fast an individual process can run. So you're going to want to have at least that or faster. The second piece of information is how much memory you have, or RAM. Those words are used interchangeably, so in case someone r says RAM and you're expecting memory, it's the same thing. Uh, 16 gigabytes is what I have listed in here currently. It doesn't tell me what type of RAM. Now, without going into too much detail on that, you got DDR3 and 4, and uh, there's a bunch of specifications under that as well. But if you're looking at at least how much memory do you have, then when you're getting a new computer, you want to have at least the same amount of memory. The third piece of information that you want is the hard drive. That's in another area of the screen. So over on the left side, we have storage. So if I click on storage, it shows me the C drive. It tells me the capacity of the drive right here, and it shows me how much of it is used and how much is free. It even actually gives me additional information about where all this storage space is coming from. Now, I know for myself, I've got more than one drive on here, and it's not showing me the D drive because I've got a lot more data than that. If I go down to the bottom, it says more storage settings. View storage usage on other drives. I'm gonna click on that, now it shows me both the C drive with the same information we already saw and it also shows me the D drive which is a terabyte drive being close to a thousand gigabytes how much is used and how much is free so we know based on this that if we're using 93 plus 440 that's almost 550 gigs so I would definitely need at least a terabyte of storage to fit everything on the new computer. One of the things to think about with the drives is they go from 500 gigabyte, you'll have some options for 750, which would be enough, but then there's not a lot of space. A terabyte is a thousand gigabytes basically, and that would mean that I've got half the storage used already. So, that may be enough for room for growth and it depends for you how much room for growth you need and how much more stuff you're going to be adding if you're taking lots of photos downloading 
uh, movies and music and all that sort of thing. So now that we got this information, there's a quicker way of getting to the screen because that was four, four to five clicks to get to that depending on whether or not you count scrolling down as a click. I'm going to show you in two clicks. Right click on your start button and go to system. And here we are showing the system settings. A second way of doing this is using a program called Bellarc Advisor and this is going to give you that information plus a whole lot more so if you're needing to provide information to your computer technician that they need for rebuilding your computer maybe or helping you with something that they need to have all the specs this will give you that so you can go to bellarc.com under products they've got a few different products they offer bellarc advisor it's free for personal use. You would just go to download a free copy. You have to fill in your email address, name, and your company. If it's for personal use, you don't need to put a company in there. You can skip that part, I believe. The important thing is having an email address. And then it will email you a link to download. And also it will provide you a, a link on this page when you, uh, after you hit send download. So you don't have to wait for the email to come in. When you're installing the software, you're going to have a few different things happening. It's going to give you an agreement that you have to click to agree. It's going to check for updates, which is uh, definition updates to help you find all the information on your computer and about it. Then it starts to create the profile and then optionally you have the option where it's scanning your network which will actually list all the devices on your network you may or may not care about that but it is an option that you can skip past that if you don't care about the other devices and only want the information on your computer once it's done scanning it opens up another website but the website is a HTML file that's local on your computer like this one here and so even though it looks like a website this is stored on your computer so it's not out in the cloud you can see all your information on here and the important things is you'll see what operating system that you have you see your processor where we've got a 2.2 gigahertz Intel i7 we can see our 16 gigabytes where it listed as megabytes so 16,000 megabytes of memory and it even goes as far as to tell us with this particular machine how many slots are empty so that we can add more memory to this machine if we want and then right underneath it there's our C drive and our D drive and it shows the size of the drive and how much free space we have remaining on there and it even tells me that I've got the bit locker set up on this particular computer it gives us a whole lot more information than that on here. Just scrolling down, we'll be able to see all kinds of stuff, including the users logged in, printers, display settings, adapters, virus protection, and a whole lot more. So depending on what level of information that you want to get from your computer, if it's the main important things of your CPU, memory, and hard drive, which are the three main components of looking at when considering a new computer, unless you're doing some other specific things such as gaming or graphics design, then you may want to be also looking at what type of video card that you have so that it can display the graphics a lot better. If you want, you can even save this document that's in your web browser as a PDF document, the same as you would on any other website that you want to print the page. You can just print it to a PDF. So that's it for this quick tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, and you might want to consider subscribing as well, and follow me along with all my other great tutorials. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.